This part of the game, I like to call it the epilogue part of the game, or in other terms, the conclusion, because we finally defeated Kefka and everything, so yeah. There is the open book, guys. Because this part, they will pretty much go through every character's bio, and yeah, they go through their names, everything. So just sit back and relax, because this is meant for enjoyment, guys. I know I will. Watching these scenes is the best. Love the music they got in the background there. It's part one of the ending theme, Cyan. I love how they have this sword over there with the gleaming flash over there. Cyan Garamonde. Mondi, whatever. That's his full name. Whoa! Easy there, Edgar. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea, huh, Edgar? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's skipping over the switch, like, he has no prior knowledge of that, but yeah, that's Cyan for you there. Indeed! Oh, man. But yeah, there are 14 characters in all, so you may want to sit back and relax for this one. Ooh, cards. Setzer, of course. Love the folding cards he got around there, flying around. Thus. Setzer Gabbiani, that's his full name. I wonder what the card actually says. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Flip of a coin, oh. Oh, you're choosing which way you want to go. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, flipping the coin. Whoa! What is going on there, man? Oh, jeez. Oh, he was just flipping a coin to see which door they should take, and his luck really didn't save him this time, I guess. Aww. Love that reminiscence of his old friend that he has there. Ooh, a coin. You probably know what that is. Edgar Ronnie Figaro. And Savin. Because they're brothers, they have the same uh, bio, of course. And same scene. Renee. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! What a beast! Oh, Salmon. I mean, he's just holding up that guru and protecting his brother. I mean, what a brother! Ooh, like a boss! Oh, and by the way, I'm not controlling the text anymore, viewers. So yeah. Hmm. A carousel. Yeah, definitely Mog. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a last name, but he could speak. Whoa! Uh-oh. Don't worry, Mog. We're here for you. Quickly, save him! Save him! Save him! Ow! Uh, what are you grabbing him by? Like... Ow? Is that by the ear? Oh, the hair! <laughs> I thought it was, uh, by the head. Oh, you made him mad. What the heck is that? Oh, Umaro. Yeah, yeah. The bones kind of revealed it away, but yeah. I also love how the Moogles are, like, fast approaching with bones over there. Whoa, what happened? What's Umaru gonna do for this one? Ooga! Whoa! Opening up a new pack, huh? Wow. I think I have to open up a poll over here, like, who's more beast? Seven or Umaru? Like, he just created a new pack. Seven held up a girder. And in one case, he actually suplexes a... Phantom Train, I still have to show that course. Go, go! That helmet looks familiar, of course. The first time I ever played this, I love with shadows. Believe it or not. Whoopsies! Oh, this part of the dungeon, yeah, I remember here. 
same time. I don't remember that ever happening in the game. Oh, good thing we have Gogo here. He can mimic Celeste. Oh, watch this. Masterful. Wait, grab the chest. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Gogo. I guess that that's what happens when you mimic a person for too long. Gaw or Gaw. Yeah. What? what? There was something in the helmet? Wow. It appears we have reached the blockage. Oh, some fancy hopping skills you got there, Gaw. The conveyor belts are still functioning after that gigantic explosion. Wow. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Oh! <laughs> Poor Celeste! Never push a lady down! <laughs> Flowers. I wonder who they're for. Locke? It would have been more sense if they actually had a different scenario, but yeah, they joined the scene together with Locke and Celeste here. I also love how they also give us the last names of each and every character, like... They've actually left us in the dark. I heard that Final Fantasy VI was the first game where they actually... Whoa, what's that? Over there. Uh-oh. But yeah, Final Fantasy VI was the first game where they actually came up with the last names, like, think about it. Whoa! No, I think it was number five, I'm not, I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure it was number six, because they never really revealed the last names. Hold on to me. Hero! What was that thing, anyway? You're not going to tell us now, are you, are you Celeste? I love how he just drags her away like that, oh boy. But yeah, I think Final Fantasy VI was the first game where they actually gave the characters a last name. Hmm. The Holy Grail, or maybe it's just a couple of glasses. Terra, the original and main character of Final Fantasy VI. Wonder what we're gonna see here, oh boy. What's going on? Something emanating here? Magicite. I am your father! No! What could that be? But yeah, there was a rumor saying that they actually, uh... During the scene when magic just disappears and fades away, they actually say that... That Terrible was gonna die from it, but no. The, the writers actually decided to change it because it was going a little too far because like you just can't kill a main character in a video game or anime or anything you just can't kill them oh realm the pictomancer of our party I love that paintbrush they have over there the gleaming lights oh my goodness wow you guys are certainly behind you're still there Is that a threat? What the heck? Oh, you just threatened your own grandpa. Like, what the heck is up with that? Oh, a canvas, you say? How cute. You even made him cry. But that is pretty good, viewers, because, like, in all of her life, like, her paintings actually literally come to life. Shadow. I wonder why they have an apple there. Oh, okay, there's a shuriken. Yeah, there it is. It's like one second. Why would they put, a sh put an apple there without the shuriken? Like, he's a ninja. What's going on, Shadow? Why You're going the wrong way, you know? Come on, your scepter. Pull him out. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what? You're just gonna stay here? But yeah, viewers, believe it or not, Shadow wants to be left here alone. He's gonna commit suicide. This stinks because 99% of the game, like, 
you literally forget to le to actually uh, wait for him at the Falling Con, and here it is. He dies anyway. Like, what's up with that? Strago. I believe this is the last character in the character piles, or the epilogue scenes, of course. It's all... It's basically their escape from the... The final dungeon, of course. Why did you raise the crane higher? Are you trying to... Play a joke on Strago there? <laughs> Come on, Strago, jump like a bunny! Yeah, he got it! There you go! Looks like you got it this time. That's it for the characters, viewers. I guess the book's gonna close. Me? What did I do? Well, then again, if it wasn't for me, then the characters wouldn't have gotten this far without me, with all their equipment and everything.